do not discount the star power on a Thursday night nationally televised game. I think that's uh, a thing. Uh, and it, it does elevate guys just a little bit. And it can't hurt when we're looking for every damn edge we can get. It's time to make some official picks here. Let's take a look at the record here. Um, not, not a great week last week. I mean, it was a good week of analysis, a great week of calls, but the results could have been better. We were 6-4. and four. Then we tried to make some picks back on Monday, and that did not go well. But 122 and 82, hey, 40 picks over 500. That can't be horrible, that's for sure. And uh, we're still over 500 on the specials, which is absurd because the specials are, you know, high-risk plays here or else they wouldn't be special so we've hit uh 15 there out of under 30 right so it was at 29 not too shabby uh let's get into uh firstly a lean and by the way this is already up uh and this is one challenge by the way doing this program uh you know we got to submit the picks a little you know not no we don't submit like a minute before uh, the show, the graphics don't create themselves. This is up to a 70, uh, but I'm not making an official pick, but I just want to say I like Juwan Jennings to have another good game here. Uh, so that's a lean, 69.5. And that's it. That's all I have. But we can also, though, go to the actual picks. And I do like Jennings. I just, I just kind of defaulted to the catch total, uh, five and a half. I feel just slightly better about his ability to catch six balls compared to his ability to go for 70. uh, Basically, you know, when he first started coming on, he kind of was like a a big tight end, really a big body in the middle of the field. Uh, So though he's been making bigger plays, obviously, but I could see, you know, a couple of high percentage throws, uh, to, to help pad the numbers here. Obviously, he crushed them uh, in that first meeting. He beat everything. He went over everything, uh, over the catches, because he had 11. I'm pretty sure the catch prop wasn't 11 and a half. Uh, 175 and uh, three touchdowns, as we've outlined. Uh, data is not bad at all for Jawan Jennings in this game. Otherwise, the Rams deploy uh, the... Six ties straight to cover three. It's pretty good. Uh, 2.21 yards per route run. I do regret not going in on Kittle. So if uh, this doesn't happen and the other picks don't happen, it'll be because of damn Kittle. But, you know, uh, the grinder's on, on Kittle, so that's probably going to hit. Uh, and, and I'm not – and I'm, I'm, I'm like 9-1 on props that I didn't make the official pick. But once I saw it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's hitting. Yeah, that's hidden. Uh, but for some reason, I just it just didn't grab me. Uh, perhaps it's the last matchup where he actually didn't do much in, in that last matchup, uh, did Kittle. But, yeah, uh, I am in on Jennings, though. I, I think he's going to be very involved, as always. I don't necessarily know about their running game. Uh, that's a little bit of a question here. But Brock Purdy crushed in the first matchup. He did get hit pretty hard at the end of the game, but he's good to go. So I feel pretty good about uh, Brock Purdy. And that is why I'm going to go in on Debo Samuel. Well, I've been in on Debo Samuel. And by the way, it does bode fairly well that we went in on this puppy at 47 and a half. And I'm sorry, but I, I'm not retreating from that pick because we made it officially on Tuesday, but it has been bet up, which is a pretty good sign. Uh, to 50.5. Now, his data isn't as great uh, up against the cover three, but it's it's okay. Uh, he is averaging 1.59 yards per route run um, on 91 routes against the cover three, which, by the way, they only run uh, a third of the time, essentially. Um, they are zone heavy, and you do like Z- Debo against zone. Uh, that's just a general rule. Uh, you know, he's not the greatest separation guy, you know, up against a man-to-man coverage and all that. And by the way, he's been a Rams killer. If if you're a Niners fan, you know. If you're a Rams fan, you know uh, that Debo Samuel has been a little bit of a uh, Rams ki- killer. And again, they have been a perimeter funnel. 
They have allowed the third most schedule adjusted fantasy points per game to opposing wide receivers out wide, but the ninth fewest to the slot. So a little squeaky wheel action here. You know, I even went and I read up Kyle Shanahan's comments about the social media post that maybe Debo deleted. And he seemed fine with it. He seemed to understand Debo's frustrations. I've actually had discussions, not to name drop, uh, although I am a big name dropper. Uh, I did, I've had discussions with Kyle Shanahan about Debo Samuel. Uh, in fact, at the combine, the year, the year after his first year, I, I walked up to Kyle. I'm like, coach, am I crazy? Or have you kind of given Debo like not even half of what you can give him? He's like, no, you're not crazy at all. And then the next year is when we all started seeing Debo running all over the place, quite frankly, and doing a lot of different things. And he had a big year that year. I was, I was, he was like my number one guy. I, I'm the other thing too, is I'm a Debo person. I'm, I'm a Debo apologist. I like Debo more than AJ Brown, which I'm not bragging, but <laughs> I did like him more than AJ Brown that year. He was my number one guy. Uh, he actually came on my Sirius XM radio show when I was doing the morning show at the time. I actually did predict to him that he would be a Niner uh, before the draft. It was an easy call, though, because I knew the Niners were looking for a physical receiver. And uh, Kyle and the staff had him at the Senior Bowl that year, and he was awesome at the Senior Bowl. So I think Debo bounces back a little bit. Also, do not discount the star power on a Thursday night nationally televised game. I think that's uh, a thing. Uh, and it, it does elevate guys just a little bit. And it can't hurt when we're looking for every damn edge we can get. Uh, I've done this a lot this year, by the way. And it's worked out to where, again, I'm backing these, these flashier players on, you know, the national spotlight, essentially. Now, every week I, ha I have a weird one, and uh, last week's weird one did hit on, I believe, his first carry at, like, the game kicked off at, let's say the game kicked off at 8.15. I think this puppy was a winner at, like, 8.32. Uh, the Jordan Love, I think, was over five and a half yards rushing, and I think he got it on the first carry. This year, this week's weird one is Colby Parkinson. And you're like, who? Yeah, well, Colby Parkinson was brought in as a, a free agent over from Seattle. He's actually pretty good. Uh, I know our guy, the grinder, Tom Brawley, was kind of intrigued by him all offseason. It, it hasn't happened. But, hey, Tyler Higby's still out. He's not coming back this week. And uh, Allen, the, uh, the backup tight end, is... He's very questionable. He got just a limited practice after being a DNP. So come on, dude, just throw me a bone and catch one for nine on the first drive, and, and then we're good. Uh, he actually hit has hit this in three straight, and he's actually hit this in three straight, believe it or not, against the Rams. And one of those, or no, two of those, was when he was a backup tight end for Seattle. But that's neither here nor there. Just give me nine yards, dude. I think we're going to do it uh, in a game which – does have a pretty high total there. What is it, 47 and a half? Not too shabby there. So just throwing that out there. Demarcus Robinson also banged up. Does not hurt. This week's Thursday Night Special, which is brought to you by G-Bank, the official bank of VEASAN. VEASAN recommends every better make the G-Bank Visa signature card part of their betting toolbox, save up to 3 to 5% on cash advance fees, earn cash back rewards on eligible betting transactions, and now for a limited time, you'll get a $250 bonus when you open up your account and spend $1,000 in the first 90 days. Apply now at visa.com slash G-Bank. That's visa.com slash G-Bank. Take advantage of the $250 bonus for a limited time for our friends at G-Bank, the official bank of Visa. Subject to credit approval, terms and conditions apply. I'm all in on Debo Samuel. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do an alternative yardage total of 60 or more plus 130. We're also going to do Debo for an anytime tutty at plus 140. If one of them hit, you're a lucky winner. You're welcome. We'll catch you manana. Thanks for watching, but don't let the betting insights end here. If you want an extra edge this football season, you can get a month of VEASAN Pro right now absolutely free. That means access to our betting insights, analysis, and tools like our betting splits at zero cost to you. Click the link in the description to sign up.